Hey everyone, it's attorney Susan Williams here today to talk to you about what to do if you find out there is an arrest warrant. Most people will completely panic when they find this out, but you will need an attorney to navigate you through this process. So something that's very familiar to an attorney, that's something that will help you get through this process a lot easier. So basically what I do when my clients have arrest warrants is I contact the detective or law enforcement agency that has the warrant. I let them know that I've been retained to represent the client. And then we come up with a date and time that we can turn my client in. And at that time they are fingerprinted. And then after that, we will have the bond hearing. And there's more information on my website about bond hearings and the process and the things that are considered during a bond hearing. But uh, one of the things that I think people don't really get is that having an attorney to help turn yourself in and can possibly reduce the number of hours between the time that you're in jail and when you have your bond hearing. You, you wanna make that as least, you wanna make that time as, as small as possible. And so an attorney can help you do this, hopefully, um, because you will not be able to communicate with anyone as readily as an attorney will once you turn yourself in. And you know things happen between having clients turn themselves in and bond hearings. And so an attorney can help you try and make that process go smoother. And also an attorney can help you with the whole process of what happens if I'm able to bond out, how do I get in touch with a bondsman, and those sort of things. So for more information, head on over to my website at www.swilliams-law.net or feel free to give me a call at 843-607-9800. The main thing to remember though, when you find out that you have an arrest warrant is that this thing is not gonna go away. And you could be pulled over uh, when you're driving, you could be a passenger in someone else's car, if you could be on the street and for some reason have contact with the police. And if your warrant is in NCIC, which is a national computer system basically that tells people, hey, this person has a warrant. That's when trouble starts. You could be taken to jail right then and there. So this things, these things don't go away, but uh, you know, dealing with it one day at a time, one step at a time is definitely a step in the right direction.